we've just woken up to head into the airport to get a flight to go to New York for the very first time. It's a Broadway theatre. It's the first Broadway theatre I've ever seen with my eyes. So we're in row F of the orchestra for our first ever Broadway show, just holding the tickets and getting them scanned for our first Broadway show. Oh. Look at this cute little bridge and the Manhattan skyline. We're on the High Line. We have the shit where the highly talked about new Stephen Sondheim musical will be premiering later this year. Aaron and I are walking across the Brooklyn Bridge. Yes. As you can tell from my hair, it's very windy. We're on the Circle Line cruise, uh, which is passing back by the Statue of Liberty, which is cool. And we both went for the corn is as high as an elephant's eye corn flour sweet corn cookie. I am so excited to tell you that I am going to be traveling to New York specifically to go and see a bunch of Broadway shows. Oh my god, hey, from an airport. Hello. My name is Mickey Joe Theatre. And I'm Aaron James. Um, and if you have no idea who we are, I am a professional slash international theatre critic slash content creator slash human. Um, and myself and my stagey fiance Aaron James who also works in the theatre industry and is very handsome, are headed back to our second trip ever to New York to go and see a bunch of Broadway shows, among other things, by which I mean a lot of Junior's Cheesecake. Um, we went for the first time earlier this year and I made a bunch of vlogs about it and this is the second, this is the return. This is the, the Empire Strikes Back of our New York adventures. Except we're walking. Um, yeah, heading to our gate right now. We're at Heathrow. We've just come from the airport lounge. Um, if you watched our first video, we got here like three hours early. Today we did like two and a half hours, and backdrop and security took a little longer. So I think it's one of those things where, like, if you're really early, then you'll get through super quickly, and if you're a little bit later, it'll take a little bit longer. Um, so I think we were only in the lounge for like. 20 minutes. I still think it revolutionizes long haul travel and it is a little bit expensive but um, when you factor in the food and the beverages that are inclusive within that you know I just think if you're any kind of an anxious traveler it makes the whole process a lot calmer and a lot more relaxed and like you know you have a comfortable seat um, you know you can just like wait somewhere chill while you're waiting for gate information. Um, there's mini muffins, like there's everything you need. There's Wi-Fi, there's plug sockets, you can get work <coughs> done. It's just a more relaxed version of the airport experience. Uh, but now we've had our gate information, headed to our gate. We're flying with Virgin Atlantic today, who we flew with last time. And hopefully I'll be able to show you a plane very soon. Yay! Also, it's like 8 a.m. right now, if you're wondering why I look exhausted and a little bit manic. And we were at the theatre last night, hanging out with Sir Cameron Mackintosh, literally, until midnight. And so we got um, exactly two and a half hours sleep, because we got back, finished packing, and had to set a 5 a.m. alarm. Not our finest decision-making ever, but was I going to miss an invitation to go and see Stephen Sondheim's old friends in the West End? No, I was not. So, here we are. Here we are! Which is the name of the new Sondheim show we'll be seeing in New York. Not the point. Uh, we're going to our gate now. So this has literally never happened to me before, but we've come to the gate and they've already boarded onto the flight, which is not for the best part of an hour. Um, maybe we'll be early, or maybe we'll just be sitting on the plane for a real long early. time. Aaron thinks we're going early. We've done a lot of flying recently, if you've seen recent videos, um, so we're pros at this by now. Admittedly, this will be significantly longer than our flights to and from Amsterdam. Okie dokie, we are on the plane. This is my view out of the window. I just realized I didn't show you our plane. That's a, that's a similar plane, so pretend that one's our one, even though you can, you can see I'm in this one. Uh, got a cushion. It's not a night flight, so I'm not super concerned about this, but I still might fall asleep, because again, we've had two and a half hours sleep. Got a blanket, got the old headphones there for the screen. This still blows my mind because I am a, I'm not used to long haul travel growing up, so still excited. All important safety card, bottle of water, 
a must purchase before any flight for me. And yes, uh, looking forward to getting on our way to New York. So many people were just already sat on this plane. Oh my God, I feel gaslit by these passengers. Like, every, did everyone else Did everyone else have like a group chat where they discussed that everyone was gonna get here super early? Because like, we were boarding group seven. And so I was like, we don't have to go as soon as they open the gate. It was meant to start boarding at 8.25. 8.20 it said go to gate. So we went and then like, everyone's already on the plane. How punctual. This is a punctual group. This bodes well. Some movie musical content there on the in-flight entertainment. Haven't seen this film yet. Greatest Days, the Take That Musical. Maybe I'll watch it on the flight. Or maybe I'll just work and edit a million videos. Who's to say? An alternative option. We have the Matilda movie. I haven't seen this uh, since seeing screenings um, of this one. So maybe I'll watch this on my flight. Don't know if you can tell, but we are keeping time with this other plane that's also taxiing over there. And if the two pilots make eye contact, that means they have to race. This is getting very meta because I'm editing a video right now. This is my review of Unbelievable in the West End, doing that on the plane. Um, we are currently flying over Ireland, as in legally blonde, also, also as in the country. Um, and we've just had a little complimentary cup of orange juice that's essentially a large shot. Uh, oh, you can see me. Hello. Um, and I haven't yet sampled these, but smokehouse barbecue. Oh, Aaron says they're good. There you go, crunchy corn nibbles, gluten-free. Um, everything Aaron gets should be gluten-free today because I've already requested gluten-free meals uh, for him on his booking. This is very shucked-esque with this corn content. Corn tent, if you will, and I will. And Aaron James's first gluten-free meal has arrived. Same thing he had last time, like a Moroccan fritter situation, I believe. Got some mango chutney going on there, some uh, gluten-free vegan bread and what is that? What's that in the pot there? Oh, like a salad. Oh, it's like a, oh, a little chickpea salad. Lovely, lovely. And a nan cracker. Nice. And a little later, my food has arrived. I today will be eating grilled chicken with Portuguese rice. Let's take a look at this. Just nice and toasty and warm. Rice. Oh, this is surprisingly hard to do with one hand. Open. Get it. Get it off. Okay. Lovely. Look at that. Salad situation there. Nice bread roll moment. Got a cracker, a little bit of cheese, choc pot, and nice wine in a can. Sauvignon Blanc in a plastic cup. If there's one thing that a theatre critic is used to, it's a white wine in a plastic cup. We are confused because, and we should probably say something, but Aaron's gluten-free meal doesn't come with a dessert, but the dessert that does come with mine, the aforementioned chalk pot, says gluten-free. What is up with that? Make it make sense. I love this about being on a plane. When else would you start drinking a tea while still being halfway through a Sauvignon Blanc and then back to water afterwards? All of this just around midday. When else? Time loses all meaning. Hello, it's me again. You're very close to my face because this plane is loud, but we have reached my favorite part of the Virgin Atlantic culinary experience, which is a little scone. It's a little afternoon tea. Look, mile high tea. That's cute. Mile high tea. It's a little afternoon tea moment. As I'm editing a different video to the one I was editing earlier, because this is a seven hour flight and I have time to get work done. Um, I've got a couple of sandwiches here. Very nice. Aaron had gluten-free sandwiches and scone. And then this is my scone and all of the relevant scone bits. I will be doing cream first. Don't at me. This is, this is not a poll. You don't get to decide, tiny people in my camera. Let me tell you, like, assembling a scone. Yes, I say scone. I'm from the very south of the country. Assembling a scone on a flight with, like, very little to work with 
it, t it takes a lot of dexterity, and I'm pretty proud of how these bad boys turned out. Shout out to my laptop that at this exact moment in time is also a plate. <laughs> oh, it's going well today. Look how much bigger. I don't know if you can tell perspective here, but like my little scone, which looks bigger because it's closer, and then Aaron's much bigger scones over there. Get more bang for your gluten-free buck. I mean, there's no buck involved, really, because it's all it's all included in the flight, but that's beside the point. So we bought the plain Wi-Fi. We ummed and about it last time, but this time I just bought it straight away for the whole flight. And it's been very useful. I mean, I could send emails and do other bits and pieces, but it's also been telling us that there are like flash flood warnings happening right now in Brooklyn and like biblically rainy weather in New York. It's only meant to last for today and up to tomorrow lunchtime, but uh, it's kind of hard to process that while up above the clouds, everything's fine. Like when we first got that through as a message, I was like, well, it looks nice from Canada, um, but I dare say, let's all savor this nice blue sky because you and I later may not get to see this again for some time. Also, oh, it's bright. Wow. Our original plan, um, because we don't have anything booked in for tomorrow, was to rush multiple shows, which is to queue up at the box office and get tickets. And now I'm like, it's gonna rain up to lunchtime. Do we want to rush in the rain? There's a part of me that's like, no. And there's a part of me that's like, it's gonna make it even quieter and more likely we'll get tickets. So I don't know. Um, but what we have done, just to give us more choices, is entered lotteries. Um, and we entered a bunch of lotteries. And then half an hour later, Aaron won the Kimberly and Kimbo lottery. We haven't claimed tickets yet. And I won the Back to the Future lottery, both for the matinee Charity tomorrow. Day. So we will see, maybe we'll end up at a matinee of Back to the Future or Kimberly Kimbo's. Who knows? I don't, I don't think you can nickname Kimberly Kimbo. No. Kimbo, Kim, 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 Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. But yeah, we don't know. Just say like Kimbo because oh, Kim. No. We're scrambling because we're also a little bit concerned. I'm trying not to worry because we still have to land yet and then get through customs. And last time that took three hours. Um, so we're, we're after all that will be the concern about how we actually then get to where we need to be. And if we'll be able to then, if we get there, be actually able to get back into Manhattan to see the ship and get back after it. Concerns right now. White. A blank page or canvas. This is still all I'm seeing out of the window. FYI. It's perfectly, perfectly nice, just not, not especially scenic. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this, but now that we are among the clouds, I will concede so it's a, it's a little damp. Yay. Yay, British people clapping for the plane landing. The plane is taxiing. We only came in a little bit late considering we had to fly around in circles. Um, and everyone is getting weather warnings coming through to their phones about the flash flooding happening in Brooklyn, but jokes on them because we knew about that already. Um, we're still just going to play it by ear and see if customs takes hours, by which time the situation may have changed or evolved, or got better, or got worse. So uh, we're not going to make any decision now, but tentatively, we're not convinced we're going to make it to our first booked Broadway show this evening, which was meant to be the cottage at the Hayes Theatre in Manhattan, which we are not in, and may prove challenging to get to. So we're leaving the plane, and it's it's rainy, so I'm going to put you all in my bag to protect you from the weather, tiny people in my camera. Bye bye, bye bye. Get it? Anyone get the musical theatre reference? Because this is a baggage carousel, and that was. That was the musical carousel. We're waiting for our luggage. Everyone look for a Playbill travel tag. Two of them, to be specific. Thank you, Playbill. These are really useful, and we did not recognize our own suitcases because these are brand new. And if it hadn't been for the Playbill travel tags, we wouldn't have recognized our luggage. In other news, we have legally entered the country, which took way less time. Oh my gosh, I think maybe like, 10 minutes, 15 minutes queuing, compared to the three hours that we stood in that queue on St. Patrick's Day 
um, just because they had fewer people working at immigration. Um, so that was a win. It didn't really stall us for time much, so we've now had to make a choice, and we think we are, and we think we know where we're going. I'll say that. Um, but I'm going to show you how we get towards Manhattan. I won't show you exactly where we go, but I'm going to show you how we get towards Manhattan because I think it'll be helpful. So, um, once you arrive in JFK, you're looking for the air train. That's what we're going to get on now, and you pay for it at the end of your journey. And we're heading towards Jamaica, which is where you change for a bunch of other things. Today's travel is complicated by... Do you want to full screen that and then show us? This. That's Brooklyn. Um, you can see where we were, where we're meant to be stopping in that video. Good. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Plans may be evolving. And I think a lot of Brooklyn's subway system is down. Uh, so we're going to see where we can get to. And if we can then get to Manhattan and back from there, maybe we'll get to go and see the show tonight. But it's a little bit dubious. What you're hearing in the background is the announcement that the air train fees are being waived and they just opened the gates so we didn't have to buy tickets at the end so it's just a free uh, bit of transit from JFK to Jamaica. This happened to us last time. I don't know how often this happens but is it us? Are we luck? I don't know. Free air train. Yay! As we approach the lake that is New York. Oh my god, hey! Hours later, outfit change. I will explain. So, um, uh, we have been spending the evening with some friends who you might just recognize. Go to clip. This is, I'm very impressed by this. <laughs> Brendan of Wait in the Wings, who you will know from YouTube, um, and his fiance Juliana were kind enough to take us in when, uh, where we were going to stay, like, the challenges. Challenges arose because of the flash flooding. It's fine now, um, and we've kind of been able to sidestep it all day because, um, we, we were able to go and spend the evening with them, and so they have taken us in, and they took us to Applebee's, because we'd never been to an Applebee's before. Um, am I walking the right way? Um, yes, because that's shucked. Yes, 42nd Street, 43rd. Yes, yeah. we're on Broadway right now. So we've had Applebee's, we've got changed, and we have headed into Manhattan to go and see our first show of the trip. Yay! Yay. We're going to see The Cottage. Yes, which a play. Yeah. And, like, it's not, like the most impactful or huge or hotly anticipated show of our trip but also it's like first evening you don't want to be completely overwhelmed i don't think you names. should like it's big names um i'm very excited to see laura bell bundy lily cooper yes yes eric yes McCormick. eric mccormick yes many exciting people in the cottage i'm excited by the premise i'm excited by the aesthetic um i'm excited <laughs> just to be walking up broadway this way. Um, but yeah, what I was gonna say is like, flying all day, busy day, you don't wanna like land and then see a huge overwhelming show. Oh yeah, it's October. Also, this is, this is Times Square. This is Times Square. <coughs> We're gonna head over to the theater now, which is at the Hayes Theater, AKA the Helen Hayes Theater which is on 45th? I believe so, yeah. 45th for 6th next to the St. James. Now it would be unfair to be getting this amazing view and not to be sharing it with you. You can just about spot Wicked in the background there, but so many lights, so many ads. Much Times Square, very Manhattan. So busy this is, this is Broadway, everybody. And here it is. We saw this theater last time. We didn't get to go inside, just beyond iconic restaurant Sardi's. We have the Hayes Theater, where the cottage is playing. I'll show you more of the marquee, but then for our actual show vlog, you're gonna have to head over to Aaron James's channel, where as per recent events, he is going to be making a vlog all about our visit to the show. And I'll see you very shortly here for the curtain call. There you go, here is, here is the front of the Hayes Theatre. Look at that, looking very lovely. And then we have the marquee over there 
for the cottage, currently the Ottage. There we go, we can just about make it out. Hello. Oh my god, Broadway! Hello, Sage Camp. We are on Broadway and we're about to see our first Broadway show of our trip. Number one, it's a Friday night and we're here to see a comedy play. Yes, we are at the Helen Hayes Theatre, aka the Hayes Theatre, to see the cottage. So we didn't see many comedies or plays really on our last trip. One. We saw Peter Pan Goes Wrong. Oh yeah, and Fat Hand. Yeah, so we saw a couple of plays, but not many, so this trip we're kind of remedying that. Look at this poster. So fancy, like old timey. And here is all the merchandise for the show. This glass is incredible. I actually really love all the merch of this and they have pins. This is stunning! Oh that's really fun and it's kind of like Broadway with a nod without it being over the top. And they've got a really nice, key that's a beautiful keychain. This artwork is stunning. And we've got our playbills, so at most Broadway theatres, when you see the usher to talk about where your seats are, that is the moment when they give you your free playbill. The walls have this dotted blue effect, which creates really cool artwork on it. It's such like a modern take on kind of a classical design. Okay, so I've just been enjoying this like beautiful artwork of a show curtain, and the longer you look at it, like, look at the deers over here, look at like Hunky Gardener in the back, look at the, I don't know if you can see that behind this person who's about to sit down, the squirrels doing something very similar to what the deers are doing. I feel like the longer I look at this, the more things I'm going to notice that all is not, what did it look, there's a bra hanging from the tree. How did I not spot that straight away? Come on now. As always, they have specialty cocktails. They have the tulip, the lily, the petunia, and the dark and stormy. And we've gone for the tulip. Cheers from Second Stage Theatre Company. Um, so this is uh, rum. This is a rum-based cocktail. It's a bit of coconut. The coconut, yeah. Lime juice. I don't think we've done like a coconutty one before. And the um, uh, very helpful staff member who made the drink said she thinks it's their best drink. Yeah. So it's amazing. I've gone for the wrong side. Oh, the coconut is coming through very strongly. We got to say hello to some of the members of the cast. We got to meet some of the cast, including Laura Bell Bundy. Yes. The Lily Cooper. Which is very exciting. And I try to just be, just like, make normal conversation and not be like, here are ten reasons why you're an icon of the modern musical theatre. We're very anxious, sphere. quiet people. We've, this is the, we've been awake for a really long time, yeah. guys. So just like making any kind of eloquent conversation is a challenge. And they were all immediately like horrified to find out we were actually English because they've all been doing yeah. English accents. I will say that theatre is gorgeous. We had a lovely tour of the space and yes. we got to stand on the stage. And then we both did the, the next very British thing of being like, yes, this is very ordinary. As we're both standing on the stage for Broadway yeah. Theatre for the very first time in our lives. It is the next day. It's a new day in New York. It's Saturday morning, specifically, and it's a little bit drizzly, but it's nothing on the flash flood amounts of rain yesterday, which is good. And around this afternoon, I think it's meant to stop raining, and then there will be no more rain for the rest of our two-week trip. Love that for us. Um, we're starting our day at Schmackery's. How far do I have to walk forwards to... Hold on. Can you see it? Yay! We're starting our day at Schmackery's Cookies, uh, which is an iconic... Broadway cookie spot. Um, recently as featured on Only Murders in the Building, which is what this cool sign is telling you here. But we got Schmackeries. Are you excited, Aaron James? Yeah! Yay! And we are dressed for our shows today. So, yesterday on the plane, 
because the original plan for today was to wake up really early, come to the city, and do multiple rush lines. And I was going to do a video about it, like, can we rush a two-show day on Broadway? Can you, like, get tickets on the day for cheap for two different shows on a Saturday? Um, and I was thinking Shucked and Kimberly Akimbo. Like, in my wildest dreams, I was like, Shucked matinee, Kimberly Akimbo evening, because we did uh, the opposites last time we were here. We saw Shucked as an evening and Akimbo as a matinee. Uh, so I was like, let's flip it. Uh, but then all the weather stuff happened, and so I thought, as, as, as much as that would make it easier to get rush tickets because other people are going to stay away, if it is like flash floods, it's not responsible or necessarily feasible to get into the city that early while it's pouring it down with rain. Um, although I think, hi, hello. Sorry, I was just saying hello to someone who recognized me. That's happened a lot already and like just such lovely, amazing things. It feels like we've been welcomed by Broadway. Like the usher who scanned our tickets last night at the cottage said, um, uh, like, I love your videos, which was just really nice. It's, it, it, it's kind of amazing and kind of wild to feel like we're being welcomed in by the Broadway community. Um, but like I was saying, weather yesterday changed our plans. So on the plane, like half an hour before the lotteries closed, we entered a bunch of lotteries and we won a bunch of lotteries. So we won tickets for the Kimberly Akimbo matinee but didn't end up getting them because we also won the Back to the Future matinee and the Shucked matinee and that's the one we bought. So we bought Shucked matinee lottery seats and then today we came into the city not super early like we got to the box office around 11 a.m and they still had some rush tickets um and so we got rush tickets for like 14th row orchestra for 40 dollars each for kimberly akimbo so we're doing the exact day i wanted to do even if the plans modified a little bit so that is today tell the people what cookie we got aaron james we got the sweet corn which we got loads when we were here last time but last when we first came it was themed and and celebrated as the Shucked cookie. So we're seeing Shucked today. We're gonna have a, a sweet corn cookie. Corn, but it then became the Oklahoma cookie. Yeah, so it became the Oklahoma cookie right before we left. We are currently in the queue to go to see the matinee performance of Shucked. This is one of our like, we had to come and rewatch it shows. Uh -huh. And it's exciting because there's been a cast member treat as well. So we might be seeing Isabel McCalla of the prom as Maisie. The line is moving. Last time we were here, it had no, no, we were here pre-opening night. Yeah, previews. And it was just like a good corny buzz around the show and everyone getting really excited about it. And now we're going back knowing that we love it. And post Tony. Have you shown your hat? I'm wearing the shit hat. And we're in. This is the queue to get in, to get our tickets scanned, and then we head in, and then to the right is your auditorium. Thank you so much. And we got stickers. I got shipped on Broadway stickers. Mickey got one too. We love this. Look at him and his shucked merch. Your shucked merch? And I got a yeah, actually. So this is my jumper, and then I've also got a t uh, cap because. Which is my cap? Yeah, it's his cap. Your job, you're my yeah. We just love shucked. So I do not think we were buying merch today at shucked because I was no. like, what don't we already have? New socks. Okay. New socks. The socks are new. And I wanted this t shirt when we first saw it. There you go. Um, but, no, I've just already seen the drinks out the corner of my eye. So we're here for the drinks. They have daily specials which are here and we're getting a hunk of your corny because that is the one we were obsessed with when we saw it in previews so we're back again and that's the one we're gonna get this is our view it's slightly restricted because if you can see there you can see the edge of the walkway but the most of the show takes place on the center stage so we're not worried and we've seen the show before and you cannot complain when it's 35 dollars we had the version with sprite not soda because we're more sprite people than soda people oh it's how i remember it we this is like the drink that we've tried to recreate loads this is a good drink there's another show we're seeing literally today this is part of our rewatch our rewatch day of two of our favorites from our trip earlier in the year
We're at the Booth Theatre to see Kimberly Akimbo, the Tony winning Fest musical. It was one of our, we must go back and see it again. And we are! Kimberly Akimbo! I just tried to sing it and they don't sing those words in the show, so no. that's why I couldn't think of a song. They never even say Kimberly Akimbo. Either. They say it's like cleverly Akimbo yeah. and then Kimberly. So this whole show is a lie, basically. Yeah. And at this performance, the role of Seth Wheatus will be played by Miguel Gill. How exciting! A different understudy uh, to the understudy and role that we saw last time we were here. We are on row M, 116 and 117. This is our view. And then Kate and Ashley are on row F, all the way over there. So they get closer, but on the side, whereas we're central. And these are the cocktails. This, I don't remember the sign being here. This is cute. My name is Mickey Joe, and today I'm on location at the Broadway Flea Market where so many shows and organizations are raising money for the amazing charity that is Broadway Cares by selling a bunch of really exciting stuff from shows, from closed shows, Broadway relics. There's a lot of stuff being sold already. There are so many theater fans here and we're gonna spend the day talking to them and seeing what is going on at the Broadway Flea Market. So come with me. I spy a treasure. A welcome to the Kingdom of Belleville sign. I don't think I can get this back on a plane, but if I could, oh how I'd be tempted. I already, at West End Flea Market, I bought the Belleville map. Um, I don't know if I need that many different Belleville things, as funny as that would be. Just grabbed one of these baked in colour brookies, which I assume is a brownie and a cookie. That's a new concept for me, but it looks delicious. Five dollars and that is my hearty breakfast for the day. Flying high in the sky, it's an opening sign. Playbill. Signed by Carolee. I literally, this was not planned, I just walked up here. But she's so signed Carolee Carmel. <laughs> And the cast of Back to the uh, oh, Bad Cinderella. I got this. I don't know if I've shown you this yet. I got this um, ragtime jacket. I got that from Moulin Rouge. For some reason, they were selling ragtime jackets at the Moulin Rouge table. So worth checking everywhere. And you never know what you're going to find. That's the exciting thing about the Broadway flea market. We have some robes here. This is a Book of Mormon robe. And this, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a Kit Kat Club robe from Cabaret. <gasps> How much is this? Bought a hundred dollar Kit Kat Club dressing gown. Zero regrets. Absolutely none. We just had a crazy 10 minutes yeah. where we got to meet um, Rachel, Zegler. Rachel Zegler, one of the Kevins from Come From Away. And I don't mean the performers, I mean the guy hey, who lived the thing. His name is Kevin because that was his life. We're seeing what is left over, uh, stuff with slashed prices, any last minute things we might want to get. I've resorted to wearing the cabaret robe because it's easier than carrying it. And I'm trying to style it out like a sort of a fashionable New York coat. I think people are buying it. No one's looking at me too strangely. Or if they are, it's because I'm talking to a camera on the street. We thought that we were done, and then <laughs> I'll give you the whole we haul later, to. but we we're holding to. a bunch of stuff right now. I thought we were done. We're holding so much stuff. We I'm a little bit emotionally overwhelmed we because just so much. we just got a great bundle of stuff. And also, never before in one day have we said hello to so many people who have recognized us from YouTube, which is always lovely. Um, but yeah, and everyone's been so nice yeah, and said so many nice things. I, I could burst into tears. Here on 45th, 5th, 6th. Your this voice is, is gone. My voice is gone. But also, <laughs> this is where I am right now. Oiling because this oh is my god, so hey. Thick. I know, but I'm so stylish. I was like anxious putting this on, and I'm like, you know what? No, this is New York. This is fashion. They're all going to be wearing this in the spring. You'll see. We're at the Music Box Theatre to see Pearly Victorious. Yes. Pearly Victorious. We don't really know much about it. We've heard great things and we can't wait to watch it. And here is the cast, which includes Leslie Odin Jr. and Kari Young. This is our first time at the Music Box Theatre, and this is the entrance. This is where musicals like Pippin and Caravan Hansen were. We're in the orchestra, but we're heading down to the foyer space, which, as you can see from Mickey's face, we like. Ooh, there's a piano. It makes sense because it's a music box. 
and there are the drinks, the Pearly Victorious, which is whiskey, ginger ale and lime juice, and the Old Cap and Rum, which is spiced rum, ginger ale and cranberry. What did we get, Mickey? It's a game for you. You're going to guess which one I got for us of the two. Not, not by drinking it, just like, which one do you think I would get? You would have got the old cap and run. It's exactly like Look at this. A cream and a bit of orange. I can see how big musicals are on this stage because it's so wide. Like, Broadway stages are just really wide compared to the West End. Look at those boxes. They're like circular, nice and big. Love them so much. They're so fancy, it's like White House. And you know what, that audience had a blast. It had such a good vibe, and you, I mean, since we've come out, everybody's been talking about Hammer Street. You know it's a good show when people don't want to rush away because they just want to talk about Hammer Street and enjoy it. Oh my god, hey, it is day four of our New York trip today. We landed on Friday. Yeah. Uh, it's now Monday morning. So on Saturday, uh, we just kind of headed into the city and did a repeat of a lot of our favorite things, went to some of our favorite places, went to Schmackeries. Uh, we went to an Applebee's for the first time. That was fun. All the food was the same shade of beige. That was exciting. We went to Drama Bookshop. We went to Drama Bookshop. Um, and we went to two of our favourite shows from our last trip, Shucked and Kimberly Akimbo, at which point I managed to lose my vlogging microphone outside of the booth theatre. And I also have a feeling a lot of my footage from that day doesn't have sound for some reason, so my microphone broke and then got lost. And I've checked on the street outside for it since my theory is because it's got like some fluffy stuff on it for noise cancellation, it just looks like a rat and I'm worried another rat from Manhattan saw it and thought it was like a mysterious and shapely rat and, and took it away with it. So I have no microphone for my vlogging camera. If you're wondering how you're hearing me right now, it's on a handheld microphone uh, that I bought for the flea market, which was yesterday. So right now, this is all I have and this is what I am vlogging with. Um, but we're gonna make it work or I'm gonna go and buy something in the city because we're in Manhattan. So I'll be able to buy a microphone from somewhere. But I wanted to show you um, Margaritaville Resort Times Square because that's where we stayed for a one night stay last night uh, that we won um, for fundraising for Broadway Cares as part of their 5K race back in March. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you what this room looks like. So here it is, this is our room on the 14th floor of Margaritaville Times Square. All very cute and resort-like, tropical, tropical vibes. Um, but really lovely, really comfortable, really spacious bed. And this is our view from the 14th floor. That's Times Square over there, which is a little bit mad. This is the most centrally I think we've ever stayed in Manhattan. Let me show you the bathroom. There's Aaron James looking lovely this morning. And through here, oh, turning on the lights, turning on the lights, there we go. I've just, <laughs> I've just noticed this art behind the toilet. That is cute. Um, but yes, lovely bathroom. Very nice. Thoroughly enjoyed our brief time. Look at me with this. This is ridiculous. Thoroughly enjoyed our brief time at the Margaritaville Resort Times Square. Back to you in the studio, Stephen. I don't know. For ten more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>